enjoying the show, show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world and share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. UltiLeague.net We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block, unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Help us go electric, become a member. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll keep up to you. Good evening, I feel it is appropriate to say now. Welcome back to Lithuania, the European Ultimate Indoor Championships. Continuing more Pool D action. No, Pool A action, excuse me. Our final game of the day from Pool A. Had two points fallen the other way earlier today. This could be a game to see who qualifies for the top eight, as it is. Those sudden death wins for Poland over both of these opponents means that they are just playing for seeding in the bottom bracket. But you still want to try and finish as high as possible. 
And in order to do that, you want to give yourself the best chance. Starts here with a win. Ireland against Lithuania 2 is the game. Both of these sides, as we mentioned, agonizing sudden death losses to the Poles. Ireland were four points up, I think, at one point and let it slip. Lithuania 2 were behind and then got their noses in front and again had the disc on Universe and couldn't close it out. In their other games against the Latvians, Ireland went down 17-9 and Lithuania 2, 17-5. And we know that the transitive property does not apply to Ultimate. We've covered enough for it's been over the years to conclusively say that's true. But if you look at the score lines against common opposition, you'd say Ireland have their noses in front. Certainly there are times when this Irish offence has been sumptuous, really humming along. But there's something about this Lithuania second side. They can be unorthodox at times, but they make it work. Both these sides just go through some final throwing. Irish in a huddle, just trying to G themselves up. And you kind of feel that on either side, they can be streaky, but you really don't want to come out cold. So a hot start is definitely on the agenda. With the Lithuania in the green, pulling to Ireland in the white. We've seen a couple of offensive combinations work for the Irish. Their starting O-line for this game. Looks like Shane Corcoran, Finn Campbell, Sean Fitzgerald, Ben Martin, and James Doherty. The Mantas Kalinas has the disc in his hands. The pool goes up. Which of these sides will emerge victorious? Campbell, cheeky little one underneath. Martin comes out of the end zone to catch the knife. Fitzgerald now floods through deep. Dirty. Oh, high one over the top. But he spears it above his head. Does Fitzgerald. And Ireland, clean hold to start the game. Again, clear playing with a specific style and plan in mind there, the Irish. Denmark versus Ukraine in the women's division, by the way. It's the game on our other live stream from Galeva, so maybe just have that one in the background where all your focus is here. Fieschkus. Here's Kalinas, very instrumental in that big performance where they very nearly upset the Poles. Kalinas. Chiaskas is on this. Paunches in the end zone, and that one bounces in and out of the hands of Serpatowskis. Coming underneath, Shields looking for that connection to Keo. Oh, it was so devastating in the previous game. And it's not Keo in the end zone, excuse me, as it was last time out. That's Joshua Reed with the score. Clearly, I need my eyes tested. But Shields was a dynamite distributor last time out. That time, Keo was his favorite target. This time he's linking up with Josh Reed. Fielded at the back of the end zone. Kuzas. 
underneath now back in his hands Kalinas Scoobringer over the top back to Kukas he wanted the scuba instead just knifing it back to Kutsas Kalinas Kutsas has it and you can see the plan from the Irish. Just poach off those handlers a little bit. Gum them up downfield, make them be patient. See if they force a risky pass. They maybe did that time, but Morkunas came through strongly. Chikal uh, it is Chiaskis, yes. Back in Chiaskis' hands. Kutsas wants the hammer. <laughs> Kalinas shot daggers at him for the end zone. Felt like that was never on. McCreary with the shock blonde hair picks up. He gets the disc back from Monaghan. And now Monaghan into the end zone for Niall McGovern. Ireland really have come out strong here. Results not gone their way today, but determined not to finish the day winless. Utilising the throw and go technique well. Nice offhand, backhand from McCreary. And defenders are just always on the wrong shoulder because the disc's being moved so quickly. Ireland 3, Lithuanian 2, nil. Current score. Kalinas pops up to catch the pull. Malinauskas, Pieskas. Here's Sir Patauskas. Little dish off there to Malinauskas. Malinauskas to Pieskas. Kalinas looking for the option to the end zone. First point of the game on the board to Lithuania 2. As the blade ends up in the arms of Lorcas Morkunas for the for the score. See Kalinas think about going into the backfield, but sees the option. One on one in the end zone. He's got separation towards the break side. He knows that he can put that blade there. Paul's going to land short. Corcoran will bring it in from, well, not the brick mark, but close enough. Oh, a high throw. The defender went through and didn't get there in the battle of the two number eight. Fitzgerald gets the better of Lankauskas and punches into Martin for the score. See it on the replay. Put some air underneath it. Defender gets close, but no cigar and with no mark. And that's easy to put to the break side. Not a problem. Paul fielded deep in the end zone by Kalinas. That one. Oh, he faked it. And the disc slithered through his grip. That's an aberration from Kalinas. Keenan. Oh, he's got the break there. McCreary toes in. You could see it was so tempting. The only question would be whether McCreary could keep himself in bounds. And then utilising the throw and go movement. Gave him the benefit of the doubt, it seems. No one questioned the score. 5 1.
That one leading Melanaskas to the break side. Who is trying to get Kalinas on the run. Oh, he got there, but it came out of his hands. It feels like those breaks have not gone Lithuania's way. Costello quickly bringing it to the front of the end zone. Already level with the brick mark, Costello catching the swing from Reed. Those two combining once more, just playing it between themselves at the moment. And there was maybe a tight window in there from Costello to Shields. Thought they could force it in. But it bounces out and back into the hands of Lithuania too. Scuba into the center. Pishkas. Kalinas. Kalinas lasering the blade deep right into the hands of Kazimieras Cheaskas to make it 5-2. Ireland could almost have been out of sight had they put it in, but just got ahead of themselves a little bit there in front of the end zone. And at the second time of asking, Kalinas to Cheaskas makes them pay. Taking the hammer, going back into the backfield to Corcoran. Nice lead pass there from Doherty. Corcoran's looking at the end zone, and he's looking for Ben Martin for the score. Ben Martin's second goal of the game, 6-2. When the Irish offense clicks, you kind of wonder how often or how they get themselves into, into trouble and into strife so often. This is just textbook indoors. Create that isolation play, get the upline space cleared out, Handler comes through, and then the timing off that towards the far side of the end zone. Good sass catching at the back of the end zone. Malinauskas to Chiaskas. Melanauskas again. Oh, nice high grab there by Lankauskas. Going more zonal defensively now. The blade over the top and try to zing the hammer, but that's far too low. Into traffic and not a problem for Ireland to intercept. Keenan looking downfield. Rare sight to see players using gloves indoors. Monaghan to McCreary to Keenan and off the gloved right hand when the Irish have given Lithuania a second opportunity they've taken it can they do so again here Kutsas swinging across to Malinauskas that one oh too high for Chiaskas Ireland get away with it. Sometimes their deal on offense does get stuck in the red zone and you're seeing it again there. An ambitious shot trying to knife it into a very tight window. Keo didn't have the connection. Third time of asking. Lithuanian bringing it in quickly from the back, seeing if they can catch the Irish off guard. That one gobbled away by McGovern. Holstering it. But not that time. McCreary, all sorts of open. Island 7. Lithuania 2. 2. This is a much more complete performance, it feels, from the Irish. Getting things ticking defensively and offensively. Haven't always necessarily had those going at the same time. Can they keep this up, though? Because we saw this, certainly for sustained periods, I think, during the Poland game. But their composure deserted them in the back end. 
Slightly flubs the catch. Vaznis, he makes it anyway. This one, ooh, it's dicey over the top. And out of bounds. Sir Patas gets guilty of the throwaway on that occasion. That one all just past the outstretched arm of Kalinas. Here's the shot to the end zone. They had that cleared nice and early. Joey Curtis finds Joe Ezra Lau. 8 2. Here's the replay. That cut comes over from the far side. Defenders a couple of steps behind. And Lau can watch that all the way in. A high one over the top. Pishkus. Kalinas to Chiaskas. Gives it back to him, just bouncing it off using that opportunity. Kalinas being like a pivot or a fulcrum for the offense to seesaw around. Swinging back and forth, trying to really utilize the width. Kalinas, short little knife, a pen knife if you will, to Pishkus. Back to Kalinas. Irish clearly in the game plan to be more zonal on defense. And that throws a little bit offline. Big hand slaps it away from Keo. McCreary picks up, he's looking for it all. Over Kalinas, Kalinas denies it. And Lithuania get it back in play quickly. Again, the Irish really trying to slow Lithuanian down, test the patience, bore them out almost. Chiaskas. Oh, left that one short. Exactly what the Irish zone wanted. Keo picking up. McCreary comes out. Monaghan with a little push in there to Shane Keenan. A 9 2 half time lead for Ireland. We said maybe looking at the form, but that the Irish were favourites, but. Not by anywhere near this margin. They have really turned it on here. The zone defense working wonders and paying dividends. Getting those short field turnovers. Not letting them move the disc quickly. And you see here the half-time highlight reel that has Ireland sitting pretty at the moment. Seven points to the good, 9-2. We'll let you enjoy this for a couple of minutes while both sides make those half-time adjustments and we'll draw you for the second half very shortly.
Second half underway here with Nile Ireland 9-2 to the good. Lithuania 2 beginning the second half on offence. Trying to fit that one in there. Oh, a heavy landing. Block was clean though. Curtis coming in there in front of Serpitaskis. I think there's been a clear play by the Irish not to let Lithuania 2 get in any sort of rhythm. Now Shields knifing over the top the second time. But he has found Reed for the score this game. 10-2 to the Irish. If only they could have found this form when it deserted them in that game against Poland. Just under halfway through the game time-wise. So there certainly is an opportunity for the Lithuanians to mount the comeback. It's just a very hefty deficit right now. That ball is too high. And that'll be bricked. Kalinas bringing it in from the brick mark. Again, Irish coming zone again. Passing this back to Kalinas. You can see how they force the Lithuanians backwards. Really struggling to find ways to attack this zone. Squeezing it into the middle. Cesla Vicious. Kalinas. Again, calling for a bit more connectivity with the players downfield. It's all very static. Pishkas. Getting it back from Lankaskas is Kalinas. High release. Over to Kalinas on the far side. Now they find a bit of space with that blade sitting behind the front line of that defence. Thought they might try that tactic again. There you go. Vaznis. Back to Kalinas now. Puskas. I think he's calling him out there. And his teammates quickly telling him, no, 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 that was fine. Continue. Good spirit there from the Irish sideline. Again, it has to be slow and methodical from the Lithuanians, and it denies them the rhythm and the motion that they crave. Doesn't like the over-the-top shot there. Kalinas doesn't want to take that one either. They open up the middle of the field well. Lankauskas comes into it. Again, blading, and it was a little bit low, and Vaznis couldn't wrap his hands round it. It's not the highlight reel blocks that we've seen at certain points during this tournament, but their turnovers the same as the Irish shoot deep, and Monaghan is a little bit too hot there for Keenan. And it weasels its way through. Want a bit more energy, I think, from the Lithuanians in trying to attack this zone. I know they have time, but I think you can still find opportunities to drive at the defense a bit more. Follow the passes, back them up. Here's the big deep shot over the top. That was really well done, because they suckered Monaghan in underneath a little bit, forced him to make the decision, and then exploited it in behind. Kalinas to Vaznis for the score. You see it there a little bit. Monaghan coming short, trying to engage Lankauskas, and that opens up the opportunity behind him. But generally, the Lithuanians far too static. When you get players coming across to cover, that's when you need to attack the space they vacate. When you pass the disc to a teammate, follow it up. See, can you get it back quickly? 
Can you attack the defence? Oh, that was sounded like maybe it was tipped as it got released, but no problem. Fitzgerald to Martin for the score. That's exactly what the Irish O-line need. Just put it in quickly, send the D-line back out there. High grab made there off the pull by Kalinas. Munkowskis. All tipped, but still got its way through. Celebrated maybe a little bit too early there, Curtis. Morkunas, back to Kalinas. He's got the ever-effective Malinowskis as a reset. You see, he's looking at the end zone. He's trying to find scoring opportunities. That's better. Passing and moving, following it up. Showing that he wants the knife. But everything getting static. Trying to curl it around the back of the defender, Costello. But didn't get the sit on it. Not the snap of the wrist required to generate the torque and the revolution. Costello staying engaged, getting it downfield. Hammer over the top is a floaty one that is emphatically knocked away by Kalinas, preventing Cormac Shields from getting there. Kalinas looking like some player. Serpatowskis to Malinowskis. Now Kalinas coming underneath for Serpatowskis. Serpatowskis to the end zone. Finding the scoring shot. Two sides just trading in this second half. Lucas Morkunas with the score. That time Serpatowskis picked his opportunity well. Dirty catching the pull, getting the isolation in the centre of the field for Martin. I say field, it's a pitch, it's clearly not a field. That one, oh, good pressure was applied. This time in the Battle of the Eights, Lankowskis gets the better of Fitzgerald. Can they do anything with it on the turn? Malinowskis will try and power their offence, that scuba's overshot right into the hands. Fitzgerald gets his own back. Here's Finn Campbell. He's looking towards the far side of the end zone. It has to go, and it bounces out of Ben Martin's hands. Got to be frustrating, that one. <laughs> Nearly dropped. Lankowskas catches it anyway. Going short. And the shot to the end zone. From Vaznis just looked a little bit tired and laboured. There was the space to get it to Morkunas, but never really got going. Dirty over the top to Campbell. Campbell's going to take the ISO look. Martin. Nice towing of the line there. Martin to Fitzgerald for the score. Well, for the Irish lead. Feels like the pace of this game has not quite been as high as some of the others. I think that's the aim of the Irish defence, certainly. Just slow the game down. Test the patience and fortitude of these young Lithuanians. McCreary leathers a knifed pull, rolls through the end zone. And actually out of the hall. Kalinas brings it in from the back. 
Finding the play through to Serpataskis. Pieskas. Kalinas coming short. And choosing to match up for the first part of that point. The Irish, before McCreary starts roaming off deep. Into that zonal look that we've seen from the Irish for the majority of this contest. Serpatowskis. Over the top, Pieskas. Shooting. Good sass was the target. Enough pressure applied by the Irish defence. McCreary to the front of the end zone. Oh, that is an ugly scuba, but it works. McGovern. To McCreary, and he bounces it off Keo and gets it back. Goes for the offhand to Keo this time. McCreary. Keo not in the end zone just yet. He's on the end zone line. He's going to knife it over the top. Oh, Monaghan let it slip. He was right there, and I think he just took it for granted that he'd make the catch. You like the confidence, but not for the first time for either of these two sides today. Those catches that should have been made somehow don't stick. And what a way to punish Kalinas, roasting it to the end zone for his teammate. Gittis Pieskas with the score. 12-5, should have been 13-4. Over two thirds of the way through time wise, about 12 and a half minutes left. You can see from the clock in the top left score corner of your screen. Games played to 42 minutes. If we haven't reached the 17 score cap, that's when the time cap comes on. Fitzgerald, back to Corcoran. Tried to take the Oyo look. That outside, inside out to Campbell. Chiaskas was there and Campbell signals that I've got a little step, I've got the step on the brake side there. You can put that up into space and Kalinas punishes them going into the end zone to Serpatowskis. That is a break for Lithuania too. Their first of the game, I believe. Lithuania first team trying to generate a bit of noise and atmosphere for their young charges. Corcoran to Campbell. Back to Corcoran. They've now really vacated the middle of the field. Martin comes and fills that void. Corcoran blading it high. Malinowskis picks it off. Crowd like that one. Lankowskas to Malinowskas. Scuba, what's a good adjustment made there by Kalinas. Here's the shot towards the end zone. Corcoran can get a hand in there and knock it away, and he does. The Irish needed that. Cannot afford, really, to let their opponents back into the game. They've done so well so this game so far, of really just not letting them generate any momentum. Just the one break. Fitzgerald to Martin, works at the second time of asking. Again, they can just isolate those spaces really well when they need to. I feel like Lithuania haven't forced them to go to second, third, fourth looks frequently enough. Force them to get out of the patterns and actually play Frisbee, if that makes sense. Kieran Costello with the pull. Kalinas spearing that one into Pishkas. Kalinas is so influential. Five assists this game, but there's no connection there. Costello to Curtis. 
back to Costello and wide open, tried to pass off the switch but it was too little, too late. I think Lau doesn't quite know what to do with the celebration, even threw in a dab at the end for good measure. What is this, 2015? Here's the replay. Costello outside the end zone. You can see the arm goes up, but Sir Patauskas has his back turned. There's no way he can peel off and take that switch there. Lau's second goal of the game. Kalinas looking ambitiously over the top. Really well read, tracking the disc over his head and batted away by the Irish defender. That's Shane Monaghan. 14-6, trying to break for 15. Keogh with the left hand. Leading Monaghan into space. Oh, he pointed Keenan to the corner and then hit it over the top towards the far side. Sold Sir Pataska, certainly on the mark. <laughs> and Lau certainly didn't have an easier, had a more difficult time lifting McGovern than when it was the other way around. Look at that, leaning back, just craning the neck. Monaghan into McGovern for the score. 15-6, the Irish two away from victory. And this is a really sticky Lithuanian side. It feels like they've maybe just run out of steam here at the end of the day. Oh, that is a huge hand block on the mark. Joey Curtis wants to pick up and strike quickly and does so. Curtis into Reed, Reed's third score of the game. But that's all about the block from Curtis and the quick thinking to pick up and look to punish as well. What a block from Curtis. Costello tried to follow it up as well. I think had he not got a hand of it, would have hit the turf regardless. And calmly in for the score. Ireland one away from victory now. Kutsas field support. That one, oh, Shields was charging through. Couldn't get there in front of Malinauskas. Has it back now. Oh, gets a little bump on the far sideline. Kutsas to Chiaskas. Still count rising. Back to Malinauskas. They've got the continuation swing there. Players hitting the floor all over the place. Into a very congested area. Again, Kalinas saying, you cannot afford to have those kind of flatter shots. They've got to go up. Otherwise, that can happen. Costello with a hand in there. Lau in the area as well. This could be the last possession. If the Irish can put it in. Again, going back to their isolation style. Resetting to Costello. Here's the shot that could end the game over the top. And Curtis finds Shields. And that is that for these two sides today. Second assist in a row for Curtis. 17-6 final score. Ireland blew Lithuania 2 out of the water here. It's in that first half. Finished 9-2. Second half a little less lopsided, but still the Irish took it 8-4. 17-6 final score overall. The zone defense really outfoxed their opposition. It forced their patience, tested their metal. Just, if anything, disrupted their rhythm. And they couldn't make the adjustments quickly enough. And the Irish offense had those isolations set up and clear. And it hit them well. 17-6 final score here. One more game to come today. Austria against Slovakia again those two teams also going to take their place in the bottom bracket so that is another game with two teams battling it out
for seeding there. For the Ulti TV and Zoom TV crew here on the ground in Lithuania, Benji Reese signing off, saying we'll see you on the other side. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. Bichon picks up, and they've got a short field. They've got another goal! It's tied up at 12! I cannot so believe what goes. I'm seeing Can here. Lola Dam chase that one down? That is a score for Hasliger Elferkel. Fantastic run by Julia Lowe. 
We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. And we believe that that requires knocking down the paywall. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch, and we want them to go viral. When you become a member, you enable us to improve our working relationships with tournament organizers, events and federations. And you'll help us to produce live stories for Ultimate fans, and to generate new fans with our enhanced content. We, we are, are a group, group of, of Ultimate, Ultimate players, players, coaches and video enthusiasts, and we want to bring you coverage on a more consistent basis. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Ciao ragazzi, support the community. And subscribe Ulti TV. there's lots of the videos, posting, everything, check it out. <laughs> they are the best one. Woo! If you want to grow Ultimate Sports, uh, become a member of Ulti TV. Regardez Ulti TV. Deviens un membre de Ulti TV. Top Ulti TV, follow me and ring me. Ulti TV, top and drama. If you want to help out Ulti TV, you can be a member of Ulti TV. Thumbs up for Ulti TV. Everyone, follow Ulti TV on Instagram, on YouTube. They've got everything. Best content. Like their pictures if you love free speech. Just do it. We're counting on you. Give me a love for Ulti TV. Became member of Ulti TV. Mamma mia. Contribue au développement d'Ultimate avec Ulti TV. Like and subscribe, Ulti TV, the best in the world. We want to grow Ultimate. We want to grow Ultimate. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We have our signature style two camera setup. With thousands of hours of experience. And our crew is globally dispersed to facilitate coverage everywhere around the world. We can also scale back our broadcast with just one elevated camera. Or scale up with two fields, two cameras and two commentators on each. We work with local teams and we all have the same mission, to grow the sport and bring it to new people by providing live coverage and new stories. Become a member today on our Patreon page. And fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories, ideas and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Help us go electric, become a member. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere.
Oh 